everyone we just arrived to Anguilla and we are super excited as you may know we're on a hunt for a wedding location. Anguilla happens to be one of our top picks. We came to the island last year and fell in love with this island so we're back to see it from a different perspective as we might get married here. So this time we're gonna be doing some very very exciting things like going on cake tastings, seeing different venues that we might have the ceremony, experiencing some of the top resorts on the island that might host our wedding. So it's gonna be very, very jam-packed and exciting and we cannot wait to bring you guys along with us on the journey. So we're super excited. We're already getting some sunburn as you can see <laughs> and we can't wait to bring you guys along on the journey. So here goes Anguilla. Let's do it. journey taking the shortest international flight in the world. A scenic seven minute flight from St. Martin to the island of Anguilla. First stop, the incredible Four Seasons Resort. <laughs> we visited this property once before and had such an unforgettable experience. Crystal clear waters, luxurious villas, and a stunning beachfront location. It's obvious to see why it's one of our favorite places on the island. After some fun in the sun, we spent our evening experiencing a decadent cake tasting. Today, I have for you a chocolate sponge. It has a uh, buttercream chocolate. Mm. We garnish it with a little bit of gold dust on the pearls. And it has a chocolate ganache. All is dairy free. Wow, oh, nice. Also, nice. oh, it's all vegan. All vegan. Oh, oh wow. that's exciting. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we also have a almond vanilla with a buttercream as well, and we also have a vanilla uh, with a vanilla buttercream. Mm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. and that's actually really good. I thought it was a very challenge. Yeah, it was really good. I was, I was surprised <laughs> with the taste. So. Yeah. Yes, you see, vegan is good. It's really good, right? <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. I could keep eating this one. <laughs> the thing is, no one would even know it's vegan. Mm -mm. No one. Would. So maybe we should trick them. Yeah, the vet, the wedding cake will be vegan. Okay. That's it. We got that on film. <laughs> we got that on We're film. We're in slow mode, and that's <laughs> Cake tasting is over. And cake which tasting one is over. Is the winner? Uh, I vote for the almond cake. The almond cake? Mm -hmm. Not the chocolate cake. Not the chocolate cake. As good as the chocolate cake was. Yes. I I don't even like chocolate. That <laughs> chocolate cake just happened to be good. But almond cake is the one for me. Well, luckily that was the same one that I loved. So we're in agreement. We got the cake down. High five. <laughs> this is part of the Anguilla tourism board team I should have been my best shoes. <laughs> that is making everything happen so we got to film you guys give you some love what's your name Disha Disha we got Jamil Jamil Anishka Anishka Brittany Brittany Princess Calvina Princess Calvina okay <laughs> so today was extra successful thank you guys so much thank you the welcome. cakes were amazing and we loved it the setup was perfect so thank you guys thank Excellent. You. Thank you. let's get some high fives here we go here, we go here we go thank you guys i made the cake oh you did okay let me ask, I let me ask juan williams about that <laughs> he assisted me <laughs> well, thank you guys so much
epic day of shooting and enjoying Maliwana, it was time to get ready for a sunset glamping experience. We enjoyed a champagne by the fire and watched the sky turn to colors. This is the one I picked. The lighting is perfect, the weather is great, and now Jeremy and I are gonna go do a mock shoot of our potential wedding location. So let's go see how that looks. just arrived to the Belmont Cap Jaluca and this is actually one of the main resorts that we're thinking about having the wedding at here in Anguilla so it's pretty big uh, pretty big deal for us we really want to see what this property has to offer from the dining experiences to the resort grounds the suites you know what does it feel what type of ambiance and overall you know energy do we feel here does it feel like this would be where we have that special day so we're super excited and uh, can't wait to show you guys the property So today was a super fun day. We got a chance to have a moke delivered right to our property. And I know Angie loves the moke, right? Last year? Yeah, last year we got mokes. Uh, we had orange and I believe white or blue. But anyways, this year I got to convince Jeremy to get a pink moke. So you see him riding around the resort with the pink <laughs> moke. <laughs> I actually like this pink one more. You know, that my, my cheeks are so pink right now. So I think it's blending with it perfectly. And right now we're about to go for a little spin, explore the island a bit more, and then head to a sunset dinner. So it should be a, a good night. Yeah, let's do it. Come with us. It was our last night in Anguilla, and we couldn't help but think of all the unforgettable moments we shared on this trip. Imagining what it would be like to have our wedding day on this magical island. I know how would you do that? Show you, I could show you. to an end sadly yeah today is actually our last day here in Anguilla we had an incredible time um, we loved all the properties the people the food everything was just amazing yeah the people here in Anguilla are very very special and I think um, we actually got such a great idea and insight on what a wedding is like you know we, we had this idea and we've never you know, got married obviously, so uh, it was great to see firsthand what it's like, what the process is like. Um, you know, we even had the mock ceremony, so it felt like for a moment we were actually getting married. And then also, you know, just having fun, experiencing it, seeing like what we want in a property um, or a location, especially considering, you know, we're gonna have our family and our friends. 
you know, what's the environment we want to be like for them. And overall, um, should we tell them? I think we, I think we decided that if we decide if we to decide, get married yeah. in Anguilla, uh, we would definitely want to do it at the Belmont. Um, it was our favorite property in the sense of, you know, what feels the most like uh, special for a wedding. The layout, the uh, you know, not to you know downplay the other resorts, they were you know amazing, two spectacular properties, but yeah. just the layout of Belmont. You know this huge beach here and you know the, res the restaurants everything is just very very nice and it was our favorite from the three in a sense of for a wedding for a wedding yeah. yeah and and then also you know the biggest part which i didn't realize is the people like that's i think that's yeah. something that you don't really you know when you're planning a wedding you're not thinking of the people that are around you meaning like the resort staff or you know just the the locals and here, everyone is so genuine. Anyone, everyone is so nice and kind. So and happy. And so warming. Yeah. And I think it makes a big difference. And, and, and in Anguilla, in general, everyone is like that. They're so smiley, they're so happy, and they just want to help you. So I think that that was what stood out the most to yeah. us. And um, yeah, we might we might get married in Anguilla. We'll see. I think, I think we still have some mm -hmm other countries and destinations so that we want to explore yeah and try out and see what that's like but Anguilla is a, a big pick for us especially because it's so close to you know our home in Miami our family's in Florida her family's in Colombia so it's kind of like in the middle so it's a great option but uh, I guess we will see ultimately um, I hope you liked this video um, say you know subscribe as <laughs> like they say. and subscribe we're, we're from we're from instagram so we're not used to you know subscribe like, and subscribe, like and, and subscribe stay tuned to see if we go to any other places to find our perfect wedding destination yeah and let us know where did, where did you get married did you get married on a destination how was that maybe you guys got some recommendations so things that we need to know about getting married please comment below yeah there's so much but thank you guys for tuning in love you guys